Right, hello once again. Today I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, and that's cook a loaf of bread in the convection oven. Now, I wasn't able to buy yeast from the supermarket because it's in fairly short supply at the moment, so I got one of these commercial bread mixers in the packet, which is ready to go. You can see this one is multi-grain soy and linseed, and it's got the flour and the yeast in the packet, and all you need to do is add water to it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I've now opened the packet of bread mix, and inside the first packet is the flour, and you can see the grains scattered throughout the flour, and next to that is the sachet of dry yeast. Now all I need to do is put the flour mixture into a bowl with the prescribed amount of water, and add two teaspoons of the dry yeast. You then mix that up, then knead it on a board for at least 10 minutes and you set it aside to rise for 40 minutes and put something like a tea towel over the bowl so that it doesn't form a skin on it. Okay, so I'll come back a bit later and I'll show you what it looks like once I've um, mixed it all up and kneaded it. Okay, I've now completed the step where I've mixed up the flour, yeast and water and I've kneaded it for 10 minutes, actually I did a little bit more than 10 minutes, probably about 12 minutes. It says on the box the the more that you knead it the better your bread comes out. So you can see it in the bowl there and I'll now cover it with a tea towel and leave it for 40 minutes for it to rise and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like then. Okay, 40 minutes has now passed and the bread has risen considerably in the bowl. The next stage is to take it out of the bowl and place it on this board that I've put some flour on and you then knead it lightly and then let it sit in a warm place out of a draft and it should um, double in size. Okay, we'll come back and have a look at that. Right, I'm now at the stage where I've given the bread a light kneading. This is called degassing the bread and I've shaped it into the shape that I want. Now this is the stage that you would put it into an oil bread tin if you'd wish but um, I want to cook it in the shape of like a Vienna loaf so I've made mine this shape and I'm going to cook it not actually in the tin so it's really optional if you want to cook it in the tin that's totally up to you so we'll now leave it now for, um, for a time to allow it to rise again and I'll put the cloth over it so it doesn't get the hard skin on it and you keep it in a warm spot and keep it out of any drafts. Okay, the bread has now completed its rising process and it's increased quite a lot in size. So um, probably um, at least, probably about double to what it was. And um, as I said before, I'm going to cook mine in this type of shape because I want the rustic sort of Vienna sort of shape. So uh, it should split open a little bit when it's cooked, I would say. So pretty much like this one that's on the front of the box. Okay, so I'll now transfer it across to the convection oven at 200 degrees Celsius, and it takes around about 30 minutes. Okay, there's the bread in the convection oven, and it's ready to start the cooking process now. So you can see it in there and I've placed it on a piece of baking paper because it's just on the lower metal rack. Okay, we'll come back and we'll show you how it's progressing during the cooking process. Right, the bread's now been in the convection oven for about 15 minutes and let's take a look in here. You can see it's risen quite substantially so it's a lot larger than when it uh, first went in and you can see the oven here you can see it's set for 200 degrees Celsius and once again as a lot of people ask me about my oven being halogen you can see it's a totally electric element in there there's the element up there so no light out of there so not halogen at all it's totally an electric element Okay, the cooking time is finished, so it's time to have a look inside. And there's our bread. 
so that looks pretty good doesn't it so uh, I'll now take it out and put it leave it on the rack to to cool and then I'll cut a slice for you okay here's the finished product after I've sliced the bread and it's come out absolutely perfectly so you can see it there it's cooked right through nice and crusty on top you can see it's uh, if I tap it it's got that hollow sound which is what you want when you cook bread so another really good result from the Aldi convection oven so yes to answer the question that a lot of my subscribers have been asking, yes, you can definitely cook bread in a convection oven. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. And check out my other videos as well. Some other really interesting ones there. Um, especially the mashed potato one. That's a great method. It will save you heaps of time. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.